All right, so I want to talk about this piece again. I've talked about it before on previous videos, but I think it's worth pointing out again. Plus, we're going to go into it and do some cleanup on it. Um, this is an old, of course, this is broken uh, there, but this is an old Depression era piece of furniture. And you can see this is definitely the definition of Depression era. It was made using, you know, old scraps of clothes for a kitchen and uh, for, a, for a kitchen. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Cut. It was made using old scraps of clothes for a cushion back here and was like a little uh, box here. So, and just, you know, made out of scrap, everything. Uh, very Depression era, I think. Um, we can also kind of date that by some of the contents of this box. Now, these contents, I believe, would have been my grandmother's. We have the old dolls that are in pretty good shape. This doll's eyes open and close. Set that down there very gently. Um, another creepy doll. And these again, these are all in horrible condition. That one, same thing. I mean, this, the doll head is just disintegrating. Now, there, this is a paper doll's head here, um, and these are, and these look like they've got some age on them for sure. Stuffed animal there. The stitching on it makes me want to say it's, you know, homemade, but I don't know for sure. Um, but just early old toys, you know that are in horrible condition, unfortunately. And then there's even more interesting treasures in here. I'm going to set out this paper. Um, go ahead and just try to sort this. I'm also going to treat this box against against um, silverfish. This is uh, America's High School. Oh, there's, there's my grandmother's name. It looks like these are names of different um, kids that went to the high school with Peggy Hurst. America's High School. Oh, I don't know what these... I don't know what these pieces are. But it's neat. It's there. And then, we've looked at this stuff before. I'm going to show you just briefly again. These old coloring books from World War II. And this, no doubt, would have been my grandmother's. Um, but there are more in here. This is uh, Junior, um, or my grandmother's brother who I've talked about before, who was killed at a very young age. And it's, you know, images from, uh, from World War II. And so that's just, to me, that's just amazing history here. Um, you know, I, I hold this in my hand and it's hard to it's hard to actually think about that you know back in the 1940s um my grandmother and and her brother who i never knew junior were um coloring in those books 
And I think that that's a really good example of just a moment in time there. Um, so I'm going to vacuum this out and then treat it with some of that anti-silverfish stuff and uh, try to put this stuff back in there. I'd really like to dust those dolls off, but they're in such fragile condition, I'm uh, honestly afraid to. And I just got stuck to the couch, to the rug. I got stuck to the rug with some old double sided tape. Figured out what that was. The cover page is here. This is second year typewriting, Mimoscope copies. 1951 to 1952. So there you go. There's the answer to all of that. And I've already treated this. And I just treat the edges and corners versus spraying down the whole bottom of the box. But treat the places where Critters would enter into this. And that stuff is allegedly non-staining and no odor. Although I smell it a little bit. Alright, and we can use it as a seat. I need to, one of these days, take this apart and uh, try to fix this top on here. So. It's back together again. All right, so this is one of the last pieces of furniture that I actually have to move in here right now from the other room. This is an older piece. Um, I want to say that this is uh, dry sink. Um, I think that's what I was told it was called. Scott told me. He'll comment it down below. Uh, but another neat old piece of furniture here. This was again in the other room. Somehow, um, you can definitely tell the quality of the older furniture versus the new stuff because this is another case where we had something that was made out of particle board right beside this piece and it was coming apart, whereas this is completely solid and was also right under a uh, big roof leak. So I'm going to get the vacuum out and clean this up and uh, then we'll take a little bit of a closer look at it. All right, we're seriously running out of light now do the best we can with these handheld lights, but this is, oh, I forgot that has no handle pulls on it. I think I got my knife in my pocket. This is the one that I had trouble opening to begin with because it didn't have any, any handles on it. And the old bird farm actually provided us a knife to open it with. Now, I don't want to break the tip off of my case knife there, so I might have to play with it a little bit. There we go. Got it back open again. So we're going to do the same thing here go through this and uh, take it out, take everything out of it. This is the box, the piece of furniture where I found the original key to the farmhouse here. All right, so first off here, let's make sure there's enough light for you guys to be able to see this. There's this picture of, has to be a picture of a relative, and nobody knows who it is. I mean, I would assume that this was actually a picture of a relative and not just a uh, random tintype that was stuck in there. Got this old picture that we need to dust off that's unfortunately broken and this needs to be reframed. You see when a little well there's a little the old bird farm gave us a little scrub brush. 
for the glass portion at least. All right, there we go. As best as I can light this up with my phone. It's a picture of my grandmother, grandfather, my Aunt Karen, and you all know Walter down there in the corner. It's a shame this picture's in such bad shape. I'd definitely like to get it reframed so we can hang it up here. All right, everybody. Well, I think we did a phenomenal job inside of the house today. We really got this space cleaned back up, opened back up, of course, so we can use it as storage, but also enjoy at least one room in the house for now while we continue to work on it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll be back in here um, finishing, tidying up, and uh, going over stuff more in the future. And I hope you enjoyed this series of videos in here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll uh, see you next time out here on the Old Bird Farm.